Welcome to Europe ECR 2021. My name is Juan Iglesias. I'm interventional cardiologist at Geneva University Hospitals in Switzerland. And it's my pleasure today to discuss with you the two year outcome results of the Biostemi randomized clinical trial that have been just presented and published in Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. And we will review the role of ultra thin strut drug eluting stents in treating patients with STEMI in daily practice. Biostemi is a randomized controlled clinical trial that included 1,300 patients with STEMI uh, undergoing primary PCI at 10 sites in Switzerland between 2016 and 2018. Patients uh, within 24 hours of symptom onset were uh, randomly alloc allocated to uh, undergo treatment with the or zero bi uh, biodegradable polymer sirolimus saluting stent or the Zines durable polymer everolimus saluting stent. The primary endpoint was target lesion failure within 12 months defined as a composite of cardiac death, target vessel myocardial reinfarction, and clinically indicated target lesion revascularization. Importantly, we use a Bayesian statistical design to include uh, as historical prior 407 STEMI patients from the Biosense randomized control trial that was published back in 2014 and uh, used the si a similar study design. And we have recently reported the final two year outcome of the Biostemi uh, randomized clinical trial looking at target lesion failure at 24 months between the two stents technologies. In Biostemi, we found that the R0 biodegradable polymer sirolimus saluting stent was superior to the Zines durable polymer everolimus saluting stents with regards to target lesion failure at 12 months of follow up. And this was translated into a 2% absolute risk reduction, a more than 40% relative risk reduction, and a base and posterior probability of superiority of the OSIRO stent of 98.6% above the pre specified criteria for superiority. The difference between the two stent designs was driven by a lower risk of clinically indicated target lesion revascularization among patients treated with the OSIRO stent. Recently, we reported the final two-year outcome of the BioSTEMI trial, and we found at two years that the OSIRO biodegradable polymer sirolimus saluting stent was still superior to the Zines durable polymer everolimus saluting stent with regards to target lesion failure. And this was translated into a 3% absolute risk reduction and more than 40% relative risk reduction and a Bayesian posterior probability of superiority of the OSIRO stent of 99.6%. This difference was uh, once again driven by a lower risk of clinically indicated target lesion revascularization among patients treated with the Orsero stent. Importantly, there are two main and two important points of these two year outcome results that I would like to highlight here. First, the uh, results uh, that were shown at one year uh, in the Biostemi trial seems to expand between one year up to two years of follow-up and the difference between the two stent technologies accrue over time. And second, and this is an important issue, is that uh, now after two years, the results of the Biostemi trial showing superiority of the Osiro stent are now consistent after exclusion of the historical information from the 407 patients previously included in Biosense, meaning now that considering Biostemi as a standalone trial, we found a very significant superiority of the Osiro stent compared to the Zion stent. The exact mechanism or mechanism underlying the clinical difference between Osiro and Zion's in the Biostemi trial cannot full, be fully derived from the Biostemi results. Stent, newer stent uh, designs are complex and differences, differences in clinical outcomes between these newer generation drug eluting stents may not be resumed to only one of their components. Therefore, we believe that the clinical benefits of the Osiro stent in the Biostemi trial over the Zion stent is mainly driven by the overall stent design rather than just because of one of the main stent components. Osiro mission is the latest iteration of the Osiro drug eluting stent family. 
Our zero mission uses the same stat platform as the all zero drug editing stand, but has several new features, including a deeper embedding for improved crossability, a more flexible shaft for improved trackability, but also a more ergonomic hub for improved kink resistance. And overall, these new features aimed at improving the stent deliverability in very high risk clinical subsets, including patients with ST elevation myocardial infarction. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Please refer to the Biostemi two year outcome results just published uh, recently in uh, Jack Cardiovascular Interventions. And I hope you will enjoy this EuroPCR 2021. Thank you.